All right, ladies and gentlemen, I personally just took a little bit of a break before we end up going into the third and final book. I was trying to read online to find out whether or not there actually is a main boss fight. Uh, I couldn't really find that much information outside of like going through someone's full let's play, which I don't really feel like doing because I want to do it for myself and I don't really want to spoil what's in there per se. I just wanted to find out whether it was going to be a final boss or actually just you know, GG game done or something like that. Now, uh, before we start this third book, I just want to say, I said this at the beginning of the series, I don't plan on going in the pumpkin, the ice area, or I think this is the asylum, or maybe it's like a fiery brimstone kind of area or something. I don't really plan on going those unless, to my surprise, this popularity of this series ends up calling for it. Uh, but again, I'm completing this whole game. I totally didn't even realize we could get food back here at the main area. Uh, but I'm completing this game all in one sitting. So, uh, it, it, you know, I can't necessarily reply to anything uh, live until the series has actually fully come out, but at least now we get full health, so that's very, very good. Let's go into the last area and hopefully a sunken ship area. Perfect. I just hope that there's no water. <laughs> what are the enemies around here? We got a mage over there, a sleeping fish. Okay. Who is bashing his head against the wall. He wasn't actually sleeping. Very, very cool. That is sweet. That is a lot of wizards. This is such a cool area, man. I love it. My goodness, this is cool. Okay, let's see. Ah! Well, that didn't really work. Will that lure enemies, though? Because I noticed that weird... Four, five... Five shots. That's not good. That's not good. This guy was a very tough enemy. What hit it? What? What? Did his corpse just explode on us? Or was it that weird little eyeball? I think those that little eyeball exploded on us, not the corpse. That's not good. I don't like it. I don't like this area. This area is deadly for all the wrong reasons. Oh, hello, giant pterodactyl monster. Or is that Cthulhu himself? He's shooting fireballs at us. Screw you! I can attack back! I hear enemies. I'm trying to be extra cautious too because of the one time that we ended up getting our butts kicked because we unannounced dropped ourselves on a uh, stone guardian enemy which is just way too killer. Uh, I was reading online though lots of people were complaining about those stone guardian enemies. So I think they're just deadly. Like that. He's sleeping. Okay. Okay. And there's like a germ enemy over there. <laughs> and this is so weird. This area is spooky, man. One, two. Did that kill him? Because we got a stealth kill on him? Doesn't look like it. We can shoot him, though. And I'm noticing there's a stake up here, which we definitely need. Give me that. No, I wanted the steak. I wanted the... No! <laughs> no, I want the steak, man! I want to get it! Oh, jeez. This is so tricky for all the wrong reasons. Come on. I was tapping F. You know what? Screw the steak then. Forget it. Because I don't want to end up taking up all of our magic on that. Or our coinage or whatever it is. Forget it. That's okay. Whatever. I know I'm getting regretted in the end. We'll end up getting killed in like two seconds here, but whatever. Kill you? Who else do we got around here? I hear a sne sleeping enemy. Where is the sleeping guy? I think that's him over there in the middle of, of the area. What else do we got here? Is that a dead? Yeah, that's a dead mage. Perfect. Got him. Okay, we're doing good. So this area is still... Very deadly, that's for darn sure. But at least we're doing okay. I'm kind of, I'm kind of self-marking like the TNT that's around as well. But you know what we're gonna do here? I want to use it. 
uh, over on this wall right here because I'm noticing that there is actually a bank on the other side of that wall. So it's going to be a good thing to open that up for us rather than having to spend a million zillion keys on trying to get in there. Ah, there we go. Is that it? Is it just the bank chest and that's it? All right. Well, then I guess the joke's on me because we didn't actually need to do that. Woo! But who cares? That's okay. Wow, that was a close one. Whoop! There we go. So that's a sleeping enemy. I see that mage over there too. I don't know if he's a fireball shooter. That's why I don't really want to risk this yet. Because I need to kill that guy as quick as possible. Then we can shoot him. And it looks like for the most part, I don't really want to risk it, but I don't know if those fish bashing their heads against the wall, I don't know if they wake up. I wonder. Because that's pretty cool, because then I guess they're just supposed to be like free... Jeez, that took a lot of ammo. What? Okay, so those guys do throw fire, so that's a good thing to keep in mind, thank goodness. We didn't end up getting hurt by him, because that could have gone very, very badly, very, very quick. Jeez. So, there is this middle bar area here. Looks like it oddly generated into something where we can't jump in there. So, you know what? Let's just do that. That'll take care of it. I want to go and see what that spell is that's over here too, because we should probably check it out. I'm guessing by those cubes that are floating around it, because maybe it has a bit of a visual cue, uh, that it's going to be the one where we can create platforms, isn't it? Still hear that Amy sleeping. Sturdy statue. Yeah, I think that's the platform. So that's not one that we want to get because our jump one that we're rocking is very, very helpful. I, I find on average, like, it seems to be a very good ability. Okay, that guy spotted us, but screw him. Any enemies? Oh, there's one of those guys. Four shots. Man, alive. They take so much to kill. Is he sleeping? No, he's dead. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'm just trying to sneak through here. I don't want to attract any unwanted attention. Snipe skills. I love that. I love the way that the guns are so accurate. Like, seriously. Now, we got to be careful, too, because enemies can spawn over top of us. Hey, this is something we've never seen before. Greenery. Die. Take that. <laughs> this is still such a... Oh, those are those weird poison spore things. No, thank you. This is still such a deadly area, I can't even believe it. Like, we, we've barely even been able to get to the next floor. Thank goodness he didn't attack us. Thank you for giving us some meat. We needed that like crazy. So far, we haven't ran into that many enemies to give us trouble. Yeah, this is totally supposed to be Cthulhu. Because he's got like his tentacle face. And that's what the Cthulhu monster is, is like. He actually has the tentacle face. Get out of here, you weirdo. What else is around? So there's that dead mage, which is always a good thing. And it looks like poison meat. We can't even reach that. Can we climb up in there? Yeah, we can. Okay, perfect. Baked meat. There we go. Perfect. So we got a little bit more. That's always good. Uh, I know that there is a mage on top of us, so I'm trying to be a bit careful here. But if I hear him, like, come at us, then I'm just going to run for it. I do hear one of those floaty, those idiots. I hear you. One, two... Okay, one shot. So if we stealth them, oh no, that would have been the one that we shot like a million years ago, knocked into the hole, and then he was still alive. All right, so that's what kind of happened there. Wait for that mage to go by so we can continue. Give me that stuff. Hello, little red thing, stick that. Let's take care of this Cthulhu here if we can. Okay, he's a corpse as well. What are all these enemies killing each other? What's going on? That's crazy. So give me those. We do not need that tripwire gun. No, thank you. Because those are not very good. Because it takes so much ammo to actually use them. I don't know if they necessarily do any extra damage or not. Anything in here? There's a key door right there. Which I don't know. Oh, thank you. Yes, please. Let's blow our way in. Blast it open. And what's inside here? <laughs> Another peak to base me baked meat. Thank goodness Because now we are actually full health. So that is great. So now we can finally go down to the next floor Take that go to sleep forever 
There was another piece of meat I just noticed in the distance too, which probably would have been helpful to us, but who cares? We're already in the next area anyway, so this is good. I'm noticing that little poison creature though, so we don't want to face him. Now, the real question is we could probably shoot him, but I'm guessing he has limited range, so we can just go over here and avoid him at all costs. Get some extra coinage from these guys. There's some bunch of Cthulhu and other monsters down there, which we don't really want to run into. I'm hearing a lot of enemies fighting each other. Another fountain of youth. Thank you for the extra health. I I'm hearing a lot of enemies fighting each other down in the basement there. So very cool that they can actually all fight each other. Now, I don't really want to shoot this guy because I hear more enemies around that I didn't really want to wake up. But it sounds like, oh, there he was. It seems like they can be through the floors and we'll hear them while not necessarily waking them up. Like, these guys tend to sleep very, very soundly. Take this, you stupid freak! <laughs> I love this, man. I love the atmosphere on this floor. Like, seriously, how the enemies are all, like, bashing their heads on the walls. It's like an insane asylum. It's so cool, man. So we can use our keys, might as well. Rotten meat, no thank you. Artifact, TNT. Which, you know what? We will actually use this because I'm noticing on our map right here. Woo! We actually generated a shop over there. So let's blow our way in there. And hopefully that wouldn't have pissed him off. That does not look like a shop to me at all. Oh, he is a shop. He's just a Cthulhu shop monster. Okay. Please do not attack me. Please don't attack me. Okay. Tinning kit. What's a tinning kit? Let's you eat the corpses of certain creatures for an additional cost. No thank you, that's a waste. Okay. Close that door for now, thank you very much. There's our compass, a conjurer's talisman, what does that do? Reduces the artifact cost to use special powers. I see, so... That could be kinda cool, because if we use that, we would be able to resurrect ourselves with uh, less cost. But I very much like the... I very much like using the compass better than uh, tra trading our compass for something that would give us a bit more survivability. <laughs> I had to go into super focus mode right there because those guys scared the crap out of me. That was just so deadly. So I think we already almost got to the next floor here. Like this, this definitely doesn't seem to be as hard as the other floor that had those uh, stone lizard creatures. Those guys were just absolutely deadly, which, oh. <laughs> I totally just realized that we were probably supposed to go to this second floor first, weren't we? Yeah, that would have made a lot more sense. Because that other one was so much deadlier than this. Like, seriously? Woo! That's a lot of spikes. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I don't want to go down there. I don't care. Well, okay. Snipe skills! Oh, jeez, that took too much shots. Took too many shots to do that because I was not good at aiming. That guy respawned. You think I didn't see you? What are you doing? Get out and go to sleep forever. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Okay. Excuse me very, very much, you strange monster. Yeah. So what else do we got before we end up going downstairs? Let's go up here. Get this out of the way. And it looks like, thank goodness, we got ourselves another key, which is always a good thing. I love how this game, like, you're all just, you're just using a mi knife until the end of time. There is some kind of strange enemy in here. <gasps> I want in there. I want in there, man. We need TNT and we need it fast. I know there is more TNT around that I didn't use. I remember seeing it. I do. But I kind of get very disoriented in this area like seriously it is just I uh, this game as itself i guess because like there's not really because it's all random generated and none of it's like that iconic like i have a very hard time navigating this area i kind of just go where i'm looking if if you can't already tell this far into the series take that are you sleeping nope there's one of the monsters the cthulhu monsters that is awake which that's not a good thing no thank you very much Okay, there's another sleeping one right here. Okay, that was a close one. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. All right. And save skills. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> this ain't good. This ain't good. I'm using way too much of our stuff, man. Way too much. There's a Cthulhu monster which we don't want to fight. Okay. Let's leave him over in that side of the corner. Uh, looks like we got the next floor right over here, but we're not going to go for that just yet. <gasps> a bonus! Bonus room! Bonus room! Give me the monies! I was reading up too. Uh, even though the first one of these that we actually found, I was saying whether or not maybe there was like enemies in here. There is never enemies. Consecrate what? A small wooden box containing various implements uh, for blessing and or consecrating a person or object. What? What does that actually do? I don't know if that's actually like something something useful. <laughs> uh, maybe does it turn rotten meat good? I I honestly don't know. You know what? We're not gonna bother with that though. What I do definitely want before we continue to the next floor. One, two, three, uh, get out of here. Before we continue to the next floor, we need to find some dynamite because I want to get us that extra health. Because that is something that is worth going out of our way to get. That's for sure. Get out of here. Dynamite. Dynamite. Yes, please. Thank you very much. What else we got? Anything else in here? Nope. I do not want to accidentally use that dynamite. Get out of here. Okay, so we gotta go all the way back. This is gonna be a little bit tedious. What power is this, by the way? If it's round like that, I'm assuming hypnotic. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be... No! No! I swapped to our TNT out of habit because I was trying to switch to our gun. Dang it. Ah, shoot. Well, there goes our TNT. That sucks. That's terrible. <laughs> ah, jeez. Well, you know what? Whatever. That's okay. Okay, whatever. That sucks. You know what? In that case, as much as I would love to go and get ourselves that extra hit because it would give us 10 health, let, let's just get out of here. Okay, that was careful. That was careful. That was not very careful. Hello, sleeping enemy. Stop respawning! There's that one over there as well, which we should... Yes, be able to kill him. I was gonna say before he was able to turn around <laughs> All right, cool. I this is actually so tense right now. Seriously Anything I Hear that fountain. It's right on top of us, too, but you know what rest in peace fountain We don't need to go for it because if we did it would just take us a lot longer And we may already actually be done with this game very very soon Snipe skills I saw you, and I hear weird enemies that hear us. But you know what? We need that extra ammo? Yes, please. Any enemies around? I hear them. Oh, there's one of those DNA monsters. I knew he was around here, because I could totally hear that guy. I see all those weird explosive thingies. That weird gas stuff. One, two. Two shots when you get a stealth shot on them. Okay, that's good to know. I need to keep that in mind. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about me, everybody. Okay, hello, weird DNA. So if they're looking straight at us, I don't think we can get a stealth kill on them. <laughs> Good to know. Gotta keep that in mind. Uh, see, I'm slowly, like, I, it takes me a little while before I learn the in-game mechanics and logic of a game. Uh, even though, oh, I didn't even see that. It was invisible. Jeez. Uh, I, I'm a quick learner with game mechanics and how to play the game, but I'm not very quick when it comes to uh, the game's logic and whatever, like, the items do in the game and the terms that they use for stuff, like, oh, this is a, this is a sleeper thingamabob. I, I don't know, stuff like that. Give me that. We don't want to eat that poison fruit. Whoa! That almost got me again. Yep. See, look at that. It's so hard to see those, man. I can barely see them. Look, they're taking turns bashing their heads against the wall. That's cool. You guys are going down. Yeah! 
Did this one get hit by these spikes? Good. Because otherwise, yeah, we were running into them a little too often for my taste. Woo! I hear a sleeping enemy and I see the next floor over there. Get out! Okay. Looks like this is kind of a dead end, I think, unfortunately. Yeah, even our compass is showing that it is. So that kind of sucks. It'd be nice if we would have ended up... Woo! Whoa, that was a close one. We could have landed right into those spikes. <laughs> that would have been nuts. That would have been so cheap. Woo! Anything else up here? I see the trap. Eh, ugh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Whoa! I do not want to fall down there. I do notice that extra coinage right up there. That would cost us one coin to jump up there. And it's thus it's not worth it. I see that guy. He is awake. One, two, three, four. Take that, you weird freak. Shut the door. Woo! More poison stuff going on. Lots of these poison eyes, actually, which we gotta be careful. One. One shot from behind. Seriously? Okay. All right, I'm, I'm good for that. I'm game. Sounds good to me. So we're already on the final floor here. I didn't end up getting them. I didn't end up getting the drop on them. I thought we did, but we didn't. I hear another enemy. I hear another sleeping enemy. But you know what? Who cares? Let's get out of here. And it looks like... Is this... What is this? Yes! We did it! We got the last one! With all three souls in your possession, you will be able to unlock the library door! Yes, please! Bam! So yeah, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be the second area, and this was the third, because this was definitely a lot harder than that one. Uh, we could have just ran through that area for the most part. In fact, this game would probably be fantastic for speedrunning. Like, I really, I really bet it would. So I might even actually look up some speedruns that I could watch of this game. Hopefully there is some. Uh, I'm going to take a quick little break right here before we end up going into the last room, unless it just goes to credits. Believe in yourself.